everyone this is my first video of this year so i'm going to start by wishing all of you a very very happy new year some time ago this brand called view Mui asked me to pick one of the brushes for review and since i've worked with this brand in the past and i love their brushes i decided to go ahead and pick one this particular set of brushes for a couple of reasons the first thing that caught my eye was the color and the simple and elegant style of this pouch. So the color is white and the pouch is made of premium leather. This set consists of six brushes in different sizes and shapes. And as you can see, every brush comes individually packaged. There are two flat brushes, a size 12 and a size 6. And there are four round brushes in sizes 10, 8, 4 and 0. The round brushes also come with this protective cap. So here are these brushes, the two flat brushes and the four round brushes. The brush handles are made of wood. They're short and lightweight. And as for the bristles, they are soft and smooth and they're made of natural sable. They have this characteristic snap. So when you first open the package, the bristles are kind of glued together to maintain that shape. And you need to dip these brushes in water for some time so that the hairs, um, they separate. And uh, which is what I have done with these brushes. And now that they are dry, you can see how the bristles separate a little bit. So this is the other and very important reason why I picked this set. Because uh, these brushes come in different styles, sizes and shapes. And because of the compact size, makes it very easy um, to travel with them and to get creative with them. So this set is priced at $25.99 and uh, for the compactness, travel friendly quality and overall presentation, I think it's a pretty decent price. So I'm going to test each brush now and test it for water absorbency. I want to see if they can hold a good quantity of water because that's very important for a watercolor artist. Let's begin with the round brushes. This is a size 10 round brush. And I have already shown you before that they have a great snap, which means they can hold their shape well, which is a great quality. Now let's see what happens when I dip it in water and see how much water it can hold. So you can see that this brush has a great uh, water holding capacity. I'm also testing the other round brushes. Let's check out the flat brush. I think this would be the right time to make a little comparison. But since I don't have the right brush to compare these brushes to, I'm going to pick a synthetic brush, synthetic hair brush that I own. And I'm going to pick the brush that is closest in size with this brush. This is a size 4 and this, I believe, is a size 5. The quality that I want to compare is the water holding capacity. And now with the synthetic brush.
sable brush has more water holding capacity than the brush with synthetic hairs that now i'm going to start exploring the strokes created by each of these brushes starting with this round 10 brush as you can see these round brushes have a thick belly and a very pointy, pointy tip. tip and uh, this makes fine lines and some curves and some leaf shapes next is round eight And you can see the lines are really fine. This brush is really good for adding details to your paintings. These are really fine. Finally, we come to wash 12. It's a flat brush and we're going to compare this to the flat 6 brush. You can also use the edge of the brush to create uh, these lines. So these are all the strokes that you can get out of these brushes. Painting loose watercolor flowers and I'm going to for me is the curves. best way to explore a brush. Now I'm going to use some or all of these brushes. Size 10, the largest. Uh, so with this size 10 round brush, I'm going to paint a large peony. And then I'm going to use the other brushes to paint some more flowers. They have a great snap as well as a uh, great water absorbency and these are the qualities that um, as far as these brushes are concerned i'm going to be slightly smaller the performance using and the also how they look they are pretty eight, aesthetic to look just a short smaller than so it's ten. really easy Artists, these mostly different you, sizes look, in the set look for. really makes it very really ideal for travel. The shedding is concerned. I did uh, come across a little bit of shedding, maybe a couple of hairs, but um, it's not much of a concern. It 
carry with the uh, easy to easy to fit into your bag I want to use this uh, finer brush size 4 to create leaves. It's also great for adding these uh, if you want to add a few lines here. So now I'm going to use my Add a little bit of background. I want to add some details uh, using the smallest drop is zero. Enough for this my I'll leave a link to these brushes in the description below. And if you like, I this hope brushes, you enjoyed watching this click review. On the link. If you have and, any uh, questions, use my let me know in the comment section which below. Is very simple to like remember, I mentioned before, I leave the link -E to the brushes as well as the code and in the description below. Discount. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. You can also use this uh, 